Hello everyone. Today we are talking about the Loma 280 module 1. This is pending from long time. So in this module we are covering four chapters. First one is risk insurance. Second is life and health insurance industry. Third one is insurance insurance contract and the last is life insurance premium. So in the risk insurance chapter, we are covering the concept of risk, risk management, insurance and how we can manage the risk. So before going to the concept of risk, we need to understand what is risk. So risk is basically the possibility or change of any unexpected results, either a gain or loss. From any risk, we can have either gain or loss. If we divide the classify the risk, a risk is basically of two types. So one is speculative, speculative risk and other one is pure risk. So speculative risk are those risks which have three possibilities. Either uh, gain, loss or there is no change. Let's take an example of stock. So if you purchase a stock, the stock price will be Either it will go up or it will go down or it will be no change. So that is the example of speculative risk. And the second one is pure risk. So pure risk is a risk where there is no possibility of gain. So that type of risk only insurance will cover. It will comes under the insurance, only the pure risk. So now we understand the concept of risk. Now we'll come to the risk management. What is risk management? So risk management is basically managing the risk. So or we can say that it is the process in which individual and business identity assess the risk means how they will assess the risk. So there are uh, currently four ways they have explained in uh, Loma 280. One is avoiding the risk. So avoiding the risk means we can avoid the risk. Uh, for example, uh, let's take an example of stock price stock. If you don't want to invest in stock, then you have avoided the risk of that. Uh, the, the price of stock will go down. So that is the one common example of avoiding the risk. Second one is controlling the risk. So controlling the risk. Uh, let's take an example. People can reduce the likelihood of uh, contracting certain diseases by exercising regularly or like eating healthy foods. So that is an example of controlling the risk. And the third one is transferring the risk. So this is the uh, liability. We can say that this is the risk that we can cover through the insurance means uh, we are transferring our liability to insurance company. It means we are transferring our risk. So next one is accepting the risk so if you are not taking any um, um, like action on the risk we are accepting that particular risk uh, we are not avoiding the risk we are not controlling the risk we are not transferring the risk to the insurance company then it then it is the as it is the example of accepting the risk now we will come to the insurance so insurance like everyone know about the insurance it is basically a method in which individual or entity transfers to another party the risk of financial loss from events such as uh, accident, illness, death or property damage. So and if we divide the insurance, insurance will uh, we can divide in two parts. One is life insurance and other one is non life or general life. And in the life we have further categorization as term life insurance, um, cash value life insurance, endowment insurance. So term life insurance is we know like it is for specific uh, specified term and the cash value life insurance is a example is we can say that it is a permanent life insurance or whole life insurance and the endowment insurance is it's having the both the benefit that is death benefit as well as uh, maturity benefit and one more insurance we have the property or 
uh, general insurance that we call and apart from that health insurance also health insurance also have three part and general insurance we are not talking about right now we are talking about the only the life insurance so uh, after life and life insurance we are coming to the health insurance so health insurance we have three categories one is uh, that is the medical expense in which the medical expenses of illness and injuries will be covered and the disability disability income coverage and the long term care insurance so these three will cover on the health insurance so we have uh, covered the concept of risk risk management and insurance now we are moving to the managing risk through insurance so managing so uh, that also we have uh, covered like how what are the products are there through which we are uh, managing risk like life insurance property insurance and the health insurance now we are coming to the characteristic of insurable insurable risk so what are the characteristic of insurable risk so there are some few characteristic like a loss must occur by chance that is the first uh, characteristic of insurable risk means which all uh, risk will be insured so those are the characteristics so first one is loss must occur by chance and second one is loss must be definite and third one is loss must be significant and loss must be predictable and law must not be catastrophic to the insurer so law must occur by chance means uh, there it will be occur by chance means it's not like it is it is a certain event so that's why it is covered loss must be definite so it it should be uh, definite in terms of amount we can quantify that particular uh, loss loss must be significant means uh, like for example of disability insurance coverage and the loss rate must be predictable so how we can predict the loss so as example of law of large number law must not be catastrophic to the insurer so in the recent like we can say in the earlier uh, insurance company suffered huge loss due to the catastrophic losses so but now they what they are doing they are avoiding some insurance to some geographical condition where the catastrophic are coming or they are doing the reinsurance now we are moving to the insurance underwriting so what is insurance underwriting insurance underwriting it is a process of assessing and classifying the degree of degree of risk represented by proposed insured and making and the underwriter will make the decision to accept or decline the risk uh, underwriting will be done in three we can three part so one part is like first it is identify the risk so once it is identify the risk whether it is a personal hazard or moral physical hazard or moral moral hazard then it come to the classifying risk so uh, he will classify whether it is a uh, substandard risk or standard risk after that he will decide to accept or decline the risk if he accepting he will decide the premium at which premium that particular risk need to be accepted now the last point in the uh, risk insurance chapter is insurable interest requirement so insurable interest is nothing but uh, insuring the uh, like who all can take the uh, insurance so uh, the person who can take the insurance uh, on behalf of you on unless and until you have insurable interest so i can take take an insurance on behalf of my um, father mother wife my son so like that the insurable interest now we will move to the uh, next chapter if you guys want to study more on loma 280 you can reach out to us we'll provide you the loma 280 pdf and you can go through it so in the life health and insurance industry we'll cover the type of business organization so there are three type of business organization one is sole 
proprietorship and second is partnership and the third one is corporation uh, in the proprietorship uh, it is generally operated by uh, one person and if anything is happen in the business for example if any debt is there so that individual person will be responsible to pay that particular debt and coming to the partnership in the partnership that particular company will be owned by two or more person and the same condition if there is any uh, downfall or business fail that particular responsibility will be taken by the uh, like who will be the owners and the last one is the corporation corporation it is basically the legal entity that is created by the authority of a government so if anything is happen that uh, not an individual will be responsible for any uh, debt to pay and uh, if any owners also died that company will continue to grow or continue to run so there will be no effect from the individual side then coming to the uh, type of insurance organizations so there are generally three type of insurance organizations uh, one is stock insurance company and second is mutual insurance company third is fraternal benefit society so first stock insurance company it is basically owned by the shareholder or the stockholders and uh, the mutual insurance company it is owned by the policy owners and the fraternal benefit society it is basically the non profit organization provider insurance to its members it's generally created for particular uh, group of the people and for that particular group of people only they will provide the benefits now moving to the financial intermediaries so financial intermediaries uh, we can say that organization that collect fund from one group of people and channel or transfer to the another group so that those are financial intermediaries so insurance company also it will do like that only they will take they will took the uh, premium from the policy holder and then uh, once the claim ar arises they will pay the uh, the sum insured to the uh, beneficiary and coming to uh, like evaluation of the financial service industry that is uh, uh, you can read on loma 280 more i will move to the other topic that is role of government in insurance so first is the social insurance program so generally government also supporting the insurance uh, related thing so insurance also trying to uh, reach uh, people more by providing some um, insurance uh, programs so they they are starting some initiative so that people can have uh, a basic insurance plan so those are the social insurance plans. so it will be depend upon the uh, countries and different countries the different government are trying to reach people in their ways and uh, coming to the regulation of insurance so every uh, country have their different uh, type of uh, uh, like regulation to uh, tackle the insurance issues for example generally they will focus on two things first one is that particular insurance company is capable enough to pay that uh, uh, claims that arises in the future that is a solvency uh, that particular co company should be uh, solvent and the next point is the market rules and regulation that there will be no uh, like uh, any uh, uh, we can say that they will follow the rules and regulation uh, uh, decided by the government on that basis only they will sell the insurance they will not misuse the uh, rules and regulation they will sell the policy to anyone anytime and and taxation like some uh, countries have their uh, option like uh, let's take an example of india in india uh, if you want to do uh, want tax benefit there is an option like you can you have some amount of insurance policies that you can uh, claim as an insurance benefit while you're filling your itr now we'll moving to the next chapter in this chapter insurance contract will discuss about the type of contract and the general requirement of contract the policy as a property will not cover 
and if you want to cover this uh, property topic you can take and help from the loma 280 pdf you don't have you can reach out to us we'll provide you so the contract contract is basically the legally enforceable agreement between two or more parties so that is the contract if you come to the type of contract type of contract is basically we have four types of in four types uh, the uh, categorization is there like first category is formal and informal uh, in which informal type of contracts are life and health insurance contract and uh, second category is bilateral and unilateral so unilateral is a type of life and health insurance and third one is uh, commutative and aleatory contract so aleatory type of contracts are life and health insurance last one is bargaining and the contract of adhesion the contract of adhesion are a life and health insurance now we are at the chapter 4 of the module 1 so that is the life insurance premium so in this first we'll go through the legal reserve system so legal reserve system is that insurance used to set financial values for life insurance product then we'll move to the cost benefit i'm not going in more detail if you want to study in more detail you can uh, reach out to us for the loma 280 pdf now coming to the establishing premium rate so you know like we are paying the premium to the insurance company so there are some uh rates like cost of benefits operating expenses investment earnings financial models regarding to that particular premium they will decide so cost of benefit is basically the cost of insurance we can tell so they will uh, like classify this cost of benefit as uh, uh with a one formula like uh, projected cost of benefit is equal to the potential benefit amount payable into uh, multiply by the prop probability that the benefit will be payable so that is the cost of benefit and coming to the operating operating expenses you know like uh, any product that they are, are developing or they are selling so it have some cost that is operating cost sorry so operating cost basically includes the product development cost distribution cost promotion cost payroll cost and and all other cost then coming to the investment earning so whatever the premium they are charging to us they they are uh, investing at particular amount of money uh, in some uh, somewhere else to get more benefit so that they can pay the amount once the claim is there and the last one is the financial module so financial module uh, it's basically the computer based mathematical model uh, that the operation of a real world uh follow the financial process so this is all about the financial model so the level premium system i am just uh, not covering this in this video if you want you can refer the loma 280 pdf so the uh, same thing that i am telling if you are not able to understand any topic or you want to go through everything you can reach out to us we can give you the loma 280 pdf you can study from that so thank you everyone so our motive is to aware people about the insurance so please help us in doing this thank you thanks a lot